Mike Wolf, star of American Pickers, pays $700,000 for this gorgeous house in Columbia, Tennessee, which features a serene porch and cabana. Mike, 60, presently resides in Lapers Fork, Tennessee, where he owns a $1 million house. Mike has expanded his real estate holdings, as the U.S. Sun can exclusively disclose. Mike spent $700,000 on a 3,166-square-foot home on May 20, 2022. Situated among his several enterprises in Columbia, the brick house has three bathrooms, a basement, and what looks to be a nook in the front. In addition, the brick home has a porch, utility building, cabana, wood deck, and attached carport, among other things. As of right now, the house is not for rent. Keep watching for more details. Hi viewers, my name is Elena. Welcome to my channel. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. So let's start. Near DA Work The house and his shop, Columbia Motor Alley, are only a few minutes apart. In November 2017, Mike paid $400,000 for the 1948 built Columbia Motor Alley, the site of the old Chevrolet dealership. With a gigantic 13,440 square feet, the structure is estimated to be worth $717,400. Prior to Mike Wolf purchasing it, the facility housed a car restoration shop, according to a source close to Mike who spoke with the U.S. Sun earlier. In the garage area, he employs people to work on bicycles and other things. Here, Mike puts his motorcycles and automobiles on display. He has automobiles, bikes, motorbikes, and antiques that he finds for the event. A store selling shirts, caps, oil cans, mugs, and other items is also there. In addition, a number of historic vehicles from Mike's own collection are on show, such as an Indian motorbike, a red Porsche, a beige 1934 Ford Coupe, and a black Ford Model A. In the spring, summer, and fall, Mike also hosts Columbia, Coffee, and Cars. Fans of the U.S. Sun may anticipate meeting Mike at the garage during business hours, which are every Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., according to a second source. Mike tries to go to Columbia Motor Alley when it's open, the source revealed. He spends time conversing with each and every guest. His eatery is also near to the new home. The U.S. Sun was able to access property documents showing that Mike paid $600,000 for the 976-square-foot property on September 15, 2022. The outside work is finished, as the U.S. Sun previously reported, and the facility will be used as a restaurant. There's a wooden pergola in front of the restaurant with lights hanging from the beams. Underneath the pergola, there are gray pavers instead of concrete. For those who would want to sit by the fire, there is a brick seat in addition to pavers in the fire pit area. There are raised pavers next to the brick fire pit that will serve as a platform for performances and karaoke. Brick planter boxes filled with bushes and a black metal fence border the outside space. The U.S. Sun was previously informed by a source that it's going to be a restaurant. They want to provide pizza, drinks, and other similar items for sale. In front of the building, construction workers are erecting a pergola, a fire pit, and a karaoke stage. Mike also has an apartment named Two Lanes Guest House that he rents out in Columbia. The American Pickers star is reportedly charged $275 a night from Friday to Sunday, and $200 per night from Monday to Thursday, according to a prior story from the U.S. Sun. The rate is $425 per night for holidays, which include Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. A $100 cleaning charge, $25 per person if more than two stay at the property, a security deposit, and a 14.25% lodging tax are additional costs. The accommodations include a king-sized bedroom, a pull-out couch that can become a queen bed, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a laundry area. Mike himself selected the antiques that adorned the room. 
This is the first time that fans of American Pickers get to see picks from the show that Mike has pulled out of Barnes and Sheds Across America presented as decor, the website's description of the rental says. The complete one-bedroom loft is housed inside a two-story brick, 1857 dated structure above a bicycle shop. Mike felt that the loft's 1,100 square feet was the ideal size to display his own unique American flair. Guests will like how Mike combined pieces from several eras and places to create a single well-curated design. Natural elements like bison sculpture and antlers go nicely with the more industrial rusty picks. Positive vintage signs define and arrange areas. For example, the double-sided turquoise City Cafe sign that was chosen in Alabama and is currently hanging over the kitchen island, or the hand-painted wooden sign that reads rooms for tourists outside the bedroom. Regarding the area on the webpage, Mike remarked, there's a lot to see and do here. I wanted to design a place where guests could enjoy the perks of lodging on a small town's main street. Listening to the clock in the tower atop the 1905 courthouse chime every hour while gazing outside the 13-foot windows is one of my favorite things to do. You can walk downstairs into the street and see the shopkeepers preparing to open for the day you can even smell the biscuits and bacon puckets is cooking up for breakfast. Other housework. In 2020, following his divorce with Jody, Mike paid $1,050,000 for a house in Lapers Fork, Tennessee. In addition to having three bedrooms and three bathrooms, the 3,153 square foot residence has an attached garage where the collector keeps his antiquities. For his trips back to his hometown of La Claire, Iowa, Mike also owns a residence. In 2004, the American Pickers star paid $180,000 for the 3,168-square-foot structure. The house is a two-story duplex with a second-floor apartment. The Shameless Chocoholic is a company located on the first story. A 1548-square-foot basement is also included. The building has a rear patio with a wood deck and two garages. Beautiful views of the Mississippi River may be viewed from the patio area and the house, with Illinois visible in the distance. His business, Antique Archaeology, is within a five-minute walk from the residence. 